Welcome to the sewing section. I appreciate you guys for joining me at the second class of this tutorial. I appreciate you guys so much. So here yeah, I'll be taking you how to join this particular kimono top perfect. You can make the gown, it's very on the length. Like is. And I told you we use four yards of this fabric here. When you're making it again, you can use up to six yards of any fabric of your choice. <laughs> So yeah, I'll be showing you the way you're going to join this perfectly now. I told you this is the back we've cut out in our previous tutorial. You can see this is the back and this is the front. So this is a, like an overlap, you know. By the time you place this particular one at the other side there, it's going to give you an overlap. So you can see now. You can see the way it turns out. You can see the overlapping style. You can see it now. So this is after placing the two front on the back you can see the way we're going to sew it now you can see the way i placed it so the first thing we're going to do is to join all the two shoulders so let me just pin it down so that it will, it will be easy while it's sewing Let me go and join it and show it to you now. Now, this is after joining the two shoulders. You can see I've joined the two shoulders, then I've done my taping for the sleeve. So, the nice thing that we mean here is to join the two sides. You can see the other side too. So, I'm going to take the shape now with one inch. Then, I'm going to come and show it back. Welcome back. This is after joining the two sides. You can see I've taken the shape. You can see it now. So, the nice thing that we mean here is this um this side the tip here so you're going to take the first tip and the other and the second tip you can see the two tips then you join it at the wrong side you face the uh, right part you can see the right side to the right side you place it this way then you join it like this you join it you stitch it half like this so let me go and show you to you so now you can see after the joining you can see what we have done here you can see the joining that i've done here you can see now the journey is on the right, wrong side of the fabric you can see the way i place it where i show you you're going to place it so you can see now so the next thing you're going to do is to fold this into two like this you fold it into two like this like this then you join it down this way you can see you're going to join it down this way the other side you're going to join it to some in to some now um, maybe let me just take so from here to here 10 inches from here to here 10 is making 20 inches length so let me go and do that and show it to you so you can see what i've done here you can see i've done the joining from this center after folding it into to do i show you then i've done the joining from here to here 10 inches from here to here 10 inches so this is where the work is you can try to twist it like you can see the way i twist it you can try to twist it this way or other way around then you bring it to the neckline you can see the way i'm twisting it then just once so this is how it's going to be so after the joining you can decide to twist it this way you can see the way i twisted it you can see then you take this this is what you need you bring it to the neckline here then you join it you can see so you have to notch the center here not the center of the back here this is the back you know then you notch the center this is the center then you place you no know, this has already showed us this uh, its center then you place it at the center of this area then you sew it down here you sew it down here you can see you sew it like this you sew it to the neckline anywhere it ends just be sewing you can hand it at any way you can hand it and now this is where the 10 inches end so you just make sure you just hand if we fold it into two then you just end it to anywhere of your choice like this so the same thing applicable to the other side too the same thing applicable to the other side too yes you just end it here so i will go and do that and show it to you now but before then let me explain so i can get that part properly So I said 
to get the part properly, I want to re explain. I said, after joining it this week, I see you know, you have done the joining like this the 10 inches, the other side 10 inches, then you now twist it like this. After twisting it this way, you bring it to the you hold this center, this is your center, then you bring it to the neckline like this. You can see the twisted part, you can see it's forming already. You can see, so you bring it to the neckline here, and you know your center, this is our center here, then you bring this to the neckline yeah neckline yeah now this is the center for this particular one then you knot this area to the so that then you place it here then you try to sew it down like this to the shoulder then you can hand it to anywhere you like here so the same thing applicable to the other side so i'm going to do that and show it to you this is the center then i've notched the center of the back also so i'm going to place this on it place it at the center this way then let me hold it to my office screen so that it will be easy when i'm showing it Yeah, the finished work so far. I told you this is up at the back. You can see where I join it. Can see? So then you you um place it this way at the neckline. Now this is the front. I told you if you are joining it to the neckline, you can join it to any length of your choice. Now it's not closed properly. You can see I'm still going to to join that neckline to hand to some inches yet. to make this area close properly. So you hand it. No, it's twisted um area then just hold this two together then you do what you hand it here you can see after when, after when you hand it here it will not show the opening again so the same thing applicable to other side too you make sure you join it to the to the closed part here you join the neckline to the closed part here so you can see now so it, it won't have any opening anymore so let me go and do that let me join into that very close part and show it to you welcome back here yeah, the finished work so far this is the twisted top that you have been cutting so far you can see the front and this is the back you can see how beautiful this is i like i said earlier i said you can also make it longer like a dress it depends on the yard of fabric here is and if you are cutting that then you are going to make some six yards of any fabric of your choice so if you are watching me for the first time you are in the right place to be make sure to subscribe to my channel for one amazing tutorial like this for those who have already subscribed i really appreciate you guys for watching my video always see my next tutorial assalamualaikum